Hey everyone and welcome back to this $2,000 stimulus check update and third stimulus package update. Well, a couple of days ago, Joe Biden rolled out his plans for the American Rescue Act, which is which is basically the first draft, first version of the stimulus package that are probably gonna be debated or attempted to be whittled down depending on who is fighting back, including stimulus check numbers. There's already people calling for less and there's already people calling for more. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome to the Late Night Grind, a new YouTube channel that I just started covering stimulus checks and stimulus package updates. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. Recently, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers and I really appreciate it if you just came on board. Don't forget to click that bell notification icon that'll actually let you know when I drop a new video, uh, which I do when I get new information. Uh, and also don't forget the best thing that you can do to support a new YouTube channel like this is actually click that thumbs up button. It really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. All right, so let's get into it. So if you're still one of the ones on Twitter, you can see all the, you can see all the posturing back and forth between congressmen on Twitter, uh, recently Bernie Sanders and his team has been, has been, has really been kicking around the idea about using the Budget Reconciliation Act instead of actually going for a full vote on the stimulus packages. What that does is allow Congress to actually pass something through the Senate with only 51 votes. They don't need the supermajority of 60 votes. So in other words, they would still need 10 Republicans to get on board with this. Now, when you include things like $15 per hour minimum wage, as well as a few other things that Republicans just aren't going to go for, you're gonna receive a lot of pushback and you're really gonna and you're really gonna lower the numbers of Republicans that would actually vote for this. So now that they know that this is actually a possibility, they may go through and do something like that. From what I've read, it may, t may actually take a little bit longer to get a vote ready. However, if they're looking for a supermajority vote, which would include those 10 Republicans from the Senate, um, there's going to be a lot of negotiations and I tend to agree with what I've been reading. If there's going to be negotiations on the table, all you have to do is look back to 2020 and see how long it was between the first and the second stimulus, which all that negotiating going on, you're probably going to see some, you would probably see something similar with this one. Now, if you're okay with one party having that much control over a budget and spending, then you're, then you'll probably feel pretty happy. But if you're worried, you're probably extremely worried. Economists have been jumping all over this proposal and basically just speculating what the effects are gonna be on the economy. And some say it doesn't really matter because the number one thing that is going to help the economy and affect it the most in a positive way is basically to open it back up. Um, some just want to open it back up, period. Other ones say, nope, we can't do it until the vast majority of the population is vaccinated. And then there's that whole other topic I'm not even gonna touch on this channel. But on this video, I wanna answer two questions that I see primarily in the comment section of my videos. These are the two questions that I see the most. I'm going to try my best to answer them based on information that I've been finding. Number one, people say I haven't yet received my $600 stimulus check. So direct deposits went out pretty quickly. Uh, check Paper checks as well as debit cards went out a little bit later. Uh, I believe Friday the 15th, which was just yesterday, uh, was actually the deadline for the IRS to send out payments. So they did send them out along with some of the debit cards. So it still takes a couple of days in the mail. So there's probably gonna be some trickling in from here on out. If you did not receive it, what you're gonna have to do is actually claim it on your 2020 tax return. And then you can actually claim that $600 and get that back as a refund. So you will not lose out. You just might have to wait a little bit longer. The other question I see most often is in this new proposal, are adult dependents included since they were excluded in the others? And the answer is so far, yes, they are they were proposed to be included. So basically anybody 17 years of age or older were excluded from the last two stimulus checks. This one has said no, they will now qualify. In fact, not only will they qualify for the additional 1400 that Joe Biden was proposing, but they'll also qualify for the $600 that was recently sent out. Now, in terms of the overall number on the stimulus check, Alexandra Octasio-Cortez is of course pushing for $2,000, not just the $1,400 plus up, but an actual $2,000. There's more of them in the Bernie Sanders camp as well, as well as a few other people that have been pushing for it. I was actually, I was reading through it and I was trying to figure out if the $1,400 portion of the stimulus check, if that was going to be just for adults, or if that $1,400 to make it a total of 2,000 were going to be included for children as well. And from what I read, it just said everyone. If In fact, one place it said everyone and in another place it said every person. So I'm guessing children and dependents will be included. So given that the fact that the studies from the CARES Act showed that the vast majority of people 
um, basically held on to their stimulus money, either put it in a paycheck, uh, either put it in their savings or paid off some debt and didn't necessarily put it into the economy. I was actually curious what you guys are going to do with it. A couple of weeks ago, I actually asked that question. I put a poll up on the community tab on my channel. So if you're new to the channel, actually go check that out. I'm really curious to see what you guys would are planning on doing with this new stimulus money. I've uh, basically tripled in the amount of subscribers since the last time I asked that question. So I'm really curious as to see what, uh, what my new subscribers planning on doing with it. Hit the casino invest in Bitcoin, or just make sure you have food on the table, whatever it is. Uh, drop a comment down below. I'd really like to see it. Also, in the last video, I asked you if you guys had any side hustles, any anything you're doing on the side to make some income. I saw some really interesting ones in the comments and drop that in the comment section below. If you have any side hustles that you're working on, anything that you do as a side business, as a side project, I'd really like to hear about it. This YouTube channel is a good one for me and I appreciate you following along. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. All right. I will see you on the next video.